And this, you can see on your screen, is the first ground view of the Dragon capsule making its way back entering the Earth's atmosphere. I love this view. Uh, <laughs> it's a... It's it's so fun to watch this. I can only imagine what it would be like to watch it with our own eyes. Um, this thermal view, uh, in particular, is really cool because you can you can see the trail behind it. Oh, now, that is so awesome! There's well, four humans inside of that capsule yeah. right now. <laughs> but once again, we are in the anticipated communications blackout period. Um, basically, there is an envelope of ionized air around the spacecraft and it blocks radio signals from reaching Dragon. So this basically plasma field around it prohibits us from commanding the vehicle or from communicating with the crew. Uh, so this anticipated blackout period lasts about seven minutes. So uh, we should be coming out of it here in about the next minute or so. We will probably start to hear uh, the SpaceX core begin to reach out to the Dragon capsule, uh, just trying to hail them. Or we might even hear from uh, the Polariston crew first. Oh, that's an incredible view wow. from the recovery <laughs> ship uh, stationed <laughs> out in the water. That is a sight to see for the people that are watching this live. Uh, yeah. It's not a comet. It is just the Polariston crew coming back to Earth. Wow, that is an amazing view. <laughs> Once again, we expect this uh, blackout period to end in about a minute. Another view of the... Dragon SpaceX, com check. I can have you loud and clear. Help me, SpaceX. Loud and clear, Jared. Expect automated shoot deployment. Incredible views, incredible comms. We have regained communications with the Polariston crew. This is a drone circling the recovery vessel. And that little white dot, I should start, the big white dot on the right, obviously the moon, the little white dot there in the center of your screen is the Dragon Resilience vehicle making its way, its final few kilometers back down to planet Earth after spending five days in orbit. Wow, just some epic views tonight. <laughs> you can hear the crowd here in Hawthorne getting excited. We've confirmed that we have comms with the crew. Dragon SpaceX, GPS converged. Expect nominal altitude for drogue shoot deploy. Copy that, SpaceX. We show the same in tracking. And the crew is still traveling very quickly right now as they're coming back through the Earth's atmosphere. But as you heard, the drogue chutes should be deploying here shortly, and that's going to slow them down significantly. Yeah, we, uh, we expect those to deploy in about 90 seconds. And as we heard in those comms, it's triggered by GPS. So the Dragon capsule using that, um, that, that GPS will automatically know exactly when to deploy it, and that happens around 40 kilometers. Once the drogue parachutes deploy, about a minute after that, we'll see the main parachutes. And it's pretty incredible that we only... Uh... We can see seat rotation now underway. This helps put the crew in a uh, more ergonomic position in anticipation of Brace slashdown. Brace for drogue window. Copy, we're bracing. Should see those chutes deploy here shortly. And you can see the crew bracing <laughs> as instructed <laughs> for the change in velocity. Standing by for deployment of the drogue parachutes. These will help bring the vehicle down from about 350 miles per hour when they deploy down to about 119 miles per hour when the main parachutes deploy. There we can see that the <laughs> drogue chutes have successfully deployed. <laughs> I 
It's a great thermal image. And that view is from the actual basin where those drogue parachutes are located. Dragon SpaceX visual on two healthy drogues. Copy that SpaceX, we show the same. <laughs> These drogue parachutes help to stabilize the Dragon capsule and get it into the right orientation before those main parachutes uh, pop out, as well as providing that initial deceleration. This is such a great thermal shot of the, the Dragon capsule. You can see it turning a little bit with the drug parachutes. And there are the four main chutes now deployed. They'll slowly open up to their full uh, deployment here in just a few seconds. Incredible views of the Polaris Dawn crew returning to Earth after five days <laughs> in Earth's orbit. The crowd here at Mission Control in Hawthorne cheering. <laughs> it's a beautiful sight to see. Copy that SpaceX, can you show the same? 1,000. Copy 1,000. Beautiful sight to see those four healthy main parachutes. So great. Now yeah. in about two minutes, we expect our splashdown to occur. And you may hear the crew and the core talking. They're uh, communicating about their altitude as they make their way back down to Earth. We should start. 800. Yeah, there it is. So we should start to hear and our, our hearing uh, our commander, Jared Isaacman, call out the altitude as they descend to the ocean's surface. We can see the Polaris Dawn crew nestled in their seats there on the left-hand side of your screen as they anticipate their splashdown. Copy, six. And you can see the difference in velocity. This is a lot gentler than just a few minutes ago. That Dragon is coming back down to Earth. Absolutely. <laughs> These main parachutes deploy at about 119 miles per hour and help slow the Dragon capsule down to about 15 miles per hour when it makes contact with the ocean. You can also see that the capsule is down. The capsule is now stabilized. It's no longer spinning like we saw it with the drogue parachutes. Two hundred, we're bracing. Copy two hundred embraced. Bracing for splashdown. That will be the final call we hear from Jared until contact with the ocean surface. Standing by for a splashdown of the Polaris Dawn crew. And there you can <laughs> see. As you can see on your screen, and by the cheers behind us, the Polaris Dawn crew has successfully splashed down. Welcome back to planet Earth, Polaris Dawn. SpaceX recovery team now moving into place to begin the process of strapping the Dragon capsule up with the necessary uh, rigging in order to lift it onto the recovery vessel.